I am in a fantastic mood, guys. Oh my god. So, peeps, um, today's video is going to be something that I don't ever really do, which is a reaction video. And I sat here contemplating for a few hours. Hmm, what would be the ideal thing for me to react to? And truthfully speaking, after seeing many things on the interweb and not really, uh, you know, being much into what people are really reacting to, I decided that I was going to react to a few of my old videos. So <laughs> let's see, um, the first video that I'm going to react to is my Just Mila explaining anime video. Um, I've got it here on my laptop, got it ready for me to view, excuse the sticker, sorry chow, you never know who could be watching you from the other side, like if you have a mobile phone or a laptop, always put some kind of sticker at the front of it because like sometimes people, like I'm not saying that you know I'm that relevant for, like you don't even have to be relevant for someone to access your account so for security purposes call me paranoid or whatever the heck you want to call me okay put a damn sticker on your phone screen okay okay um the last time i have probably watched this video was i'd say like a year or two ago like i do still every now and then go through my own videos and just kind of see the person i used to be or still am I like to watch my videos because, you know, it gives me self-criticism and a way for me to be able to improve what I put out there to see what I could possibly change. But, um, let's watch the video. I think I have, I don't know, like, I would definitely say that back here I was slightly, not even slightly, I was very different emotionally, mentally. And I was much younger. I think I was like 18 when I did this video. I'm 22 years old now. Okay. I'm gonna put on the video. The thing is, I'm re I'm trying really hard to, because obviously I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see the video with me, so we can capture the reactions together to see just exactly how cringe I used to be or am. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I want to put the video on. Anime! Anime! Oh my god, this intro! <laughs> I used to love doing that face. Wait, hold up. I don't know. It only I well, I, I didn't used to love. I still do that face whenever I got the opportunity. I I forgot how you. I can only do it spontaneously. Like I can't do it if I'm not feeling it. You get me? <laughs> okay, let's continue watching the video. Basically about Ichigo Kurosaki. He's 15 years old. And he's a substitute soul he's super. Long story short, he finds all souls, takes them to the afterlife. Some of them turn into like weird. I sound so emotionless. Like, I'm speaking about Bleach, and Bleach is one of my all time favorite animes. And I'm like, yeah, um, you know, he, he's part of the Soul Society, and he catches, uh, you know, he catches, he, he, he does stuff, and he catches Soul, his Soul Reaper, and he does this, and he does that. Like, I sound so, oh my god. Ciao. Anyways. These e things. Obviously, he helps save them, or kill them, or. Whatever. With the help of these friends. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the first Bleach opening is my favorite anime opening. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. To be honest, you guys don't even realize how underrated that opening is. Like, let me just, let me just, let me pause the video just for you guys to have a snippet of this actual song. Like, 
you guys you guys tell me on the bottom which is your favorite anime intro this by far is my favorite one and naruto ibn in 16. don't at me do not at me <laughs> I would say, I would say another really good anime opening would have been, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, how do I, what's it called again? It's called Ashita no Naja, I think, is it Ashita or, Ash, well okay, I'm gonna pronounce it the way I think. It is an anime that follows the story of Naja Applefield, basically she, as I remember the story was that her parents were rich and somehow her parents lost her i think it was something along the lines of she somehow she got lost or she got swapped at birth or yeah she got lost as a child and she ends up joining a band of circus people and she ends up traveling all around europe on the quest of finding her mother and i think what happens is like a lot of drama like she gets this guy a little bit like tuxedo mask from sailor moon i can't remember his name but a guy that's a little bit like tuxedo mask that is like double personality and um she ends up falling in love with him and then there's like a girl who tries to impersonate her like chow watch this anime if you like romance anime i definitely recommend ashita no naja i'll put the english translation somewhere here so you guys can find it but i definitely recommend that anime oh my god i don't think that people realize how much i love sailor moon like, I love Sailor Moon like I've um as a kid like I've, oh, I've like there is all sorts of types of anime fans yeah you've got the ones that are OTT you've got the ones who only watch action style anime strictly and you've got the ones who love romance animes and I am definitely in the group of those who love romance animes or romance style superhero girl power type animes I absolutely love it Mew Mew Power is on the list of the anime definitely recommend but one thing I've noticed is that Sailor Moon and Mew Mew Power are sort of very much similar in terms of storyline why I say that is because the, if if you know like let me explain it for someone who's never watched Sailor Moon Sailor Moon basically um you know there's a whole story there's like a whole storyline and you know she gets reborn on earth as a human girl and she as far as she's aware she doesn't she doesn't know that she has superpowers the only one in the series that from the beginning knows they have superpowers is Sailor Venus and the whole point is that basically Serena ends up forming a group with another four other girls five four other girls five other girls sorry because there's entire there's a ton of Sailor Venus Sailor Mercury Sailor Mars Sailor Jupiter um, there's Sailor Neptune, like the list goes on. There is Sailor almost every other planet, okay? And there's even like the parallel universe version, okay? What I, well, what I think is very similar between Sailor Moon and uh, Mimi Power is that in Sailor Moon and Mimi Power, they both have this storyline of these girls, they become superheroes, and then, you know, once they've beat their enemy, they lose their memories again, and then something happens, and then they regain their memory, and realise they've got powers, and re-meet each other again. Like, it's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole limbo, it's really long, but in that aspect, that's why Sailor Moon and Mimi Power are very, very, well, very similar in terms of storyline, I would say. Before we end this video, let me just do a little self-advertisement. Eyelashes are Libra from Juice Drops Cosmetics, which is my little cosmetic shop. You can buy face scrubs, you can buy lip oils, you can buy lip balms, eyelashes, you can buy body shimmers, you name it, sis. Like, we, we, I have a very small collection of things that I definitely think that you guys would like, especially these mink eyelashes. They're currently my favourite. I don't really like wearing eyelashes all that much, but I thought, you know what? I need to self-promote, you know, girl boss. Like, I worked really hard for me to start this little cosmetics line, and I really hope that you guys, you know, enjoy the products and you know go check out my shop it's not by force but you know a girl would appreciate just go check it out see if you like something if you don't like something you can always come back if it's not finished yet <laughs> all right thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a little fun video something that i've never really done before and to be quite fair i really enjoyed going down memory lane with you guys thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you guys 
whenever I upload next. I'm going to stop saying next week because I keep uploading every two weeks. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Big love. Bye-bye.